Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating a card using some stacked die sets. So that's just uh, a whole lot of dies that are the same shape but a different size. So you could do exactly the same thing today with triangles or squares or ovals. It doesn't matter at all. I am going to be using my circle die set. This one is from Surprise Creation on AliExpress. I will put the links down in the description box below but I'm sure many of you already have a stacking circle die set. So I'm going to take the ones that kind of roughly fit on my card and I'm just going to put a little bit of low tech tape. This one happens to be the post-it note tape but anything will work. And I'm just eyeballing them to make sure that they're even and popping them down so that they stick to that low tech tape. Now, I mean, you could be pedantic and measuring things, but I'm just, uh, I'm just eyeballing this and I'm pretty happy with that. And again, pretty much all of these steps are exactly the same, no matter what shape you are using. So if you were using squares, you would do the same thing, get them lined up and ready to go. And once I have them all in there, I this is the cardstock that I'm going to be using today. So there is four different shades. Well, there's three shades of grey and one black cardstock. Again, you could do rainbow or anything at all. It's up to you. I know that I'm going to be having this card kind of hanging off the edge of my card a little bit. So I'm okay that the circles are going to kind of go off the edge. I am trying to figure out how much I want them off the edge by. And then once I kind of stick this down, I need a way that I can have it the same amount on each of the pieces of cardstock which I'm going to cut from. So I take this extra little piece here and just line it straight up and down with the edge of my cardstock. So I know that each time I put that die set down, Onto the next shade of grey paper, I just line up that little short piece of post-it note tape with the edge of the card and I know that it will be in the same place. You will also note that I have an extra little pair of helping hands uh, helping me out here. This is my one-year-old son who's doing a great job and loving life being at mum's craft desk. Now this is the heart die that I am going to cut out of the top of my card front. So I know that I want to have a little bit hanging off the edge there. You can see it's even too big for the card front. I'm making a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I'm going to start by gluing all of these on. So I'm starting with the outside. I wasn't sure whether it was best to start with the smallest one or the largest one. But I went ahead and started with the big outside one. It doesn't really matter where you stick these down onto this piece of copy paper. I want it to be nice and thin uh, in case I need to trim it up later. So I'm just, you can see it's not even at the back at all. I'm just putting it down anywhere that kind of lines up with the right hand side. And then all I'm doing is one at a time, I'm just going through adding a little bit of liquid glue. This is the Ranger Multimedium in the matte finish and it's in a glue bottle from AliExpress. And you can see they actually don't line up perfectly on the right hand side and I was thinking about <laughs> how I could fix that but it doesn't really matter because I cut it off at the very end and the way that I end up doing the card it doesn't matter because you don't see all of it. So I can end up placing it exactly where I want over top but you'll see that in a minute uh, when I get further down the track. So there are three of these but technically it should make four and uh, there was one person, another person, not the little one you saw helping, um, who was also enjoying putting together the fourth one for me. Anyhow, I'm using, this is the Watercolor Wishes 6x6 card pack from Lawn Fawn and I'm using this kind of lipstick pink color. Therefore, I'm going to use the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide and this is how I often add a border to all of my little pieces of paper when I don't want to add another layer of actual paper. So I am just using a little bit of low-tech tape and masking off the tiny little edge and I just use the same piece for all four sides and then I'm using a finger dauber which is just the easiest, quickest way and that gives it a really nice pink border. Just to give this a little bit of texture, I'm going to run it through with this cuddle bug embossing folder. This is so, so old. I think it's called the mosaic one maybe. Um, I have no idea where I got this or if it's still available, so I apologize, but I'm sure that you guys will have some amazing embossing folders that you can dig into in your stash. And I've just run that through to give it a little extra texture on the front of the card. So now I'm going to place my large heart die and I'm really sorry I don't know where I got this heart die from. The die itself has definitely seen better days but <laughs> it's still doing its job. 
Um, and then I kind of look at the inside here and I was like, oh, I could make a really good card with that, <laughs> having a second look at it. And I'm like, one project at a time, Natasha. Um, so I've taken a little bit of black fun foam and I have this cut into four and a quarter by five and a half um, sheets, the black fun foam that is and this one is from Alina's store on Ellie and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and that way it will give me the perfect kind of foam backing for this cut. Now someone was saying about when they run through an embossed piece of paper through their die cutting machine that it completely flattens it. I haven't found that my machine does that at all because here I emboss the paper first and then I cut out the heart and there's still plenty of texture, it wasn't reduced at all by running it through, however if your machine does flatten it then I just suggest doing it the other way around. Um, then I'm going to use this Love You die, again this one is from Alina and I really like the simplicity of this and yet it's kind of intricate and delicate at the same time. Uh, so I am going to have two white layers, it's just white cardstock cut out, and then I cut out also one from the same Watercolor Wishes cardstock that I have on my card front. This is just a really simple plain card and these are really easy to mass produce because you are creating so many of them uh, when you cut out your circle die cuts or your shaped die cuts. So it is a really good one that if you need to make lots of cards that aren't too, too complex. So you can see I've just off offset that uh, pink one layer at the front. I've just put it to the right and up just a little bit so that you can see the white poking through from the background. And again, that just helps it stand out a little bit from the busy circles that I have going on behind it. This is the one that I'm going to choose uh, first to put behind to show you guys. And I have my card front here, which has the foam on the back. And this is where I said that you can place it literally where you want. So you can move it around and just trim the back up. Again, nobody will see this bit at all. So find a spot that looks good to you. And I am just going to draw an outline around it in pencil so that I know where I need to cut. And I'm going to be cutting off that little edge bit as well. So that will neaten everything up perfectly. And my paper trimmer went through this no problem at all. And that's another good reason um, by using copy paper in the beginning to put the cardstock down on because it's just a really nice thin layer um, if you do need to trim it up later on. So it's just a matter of putting the card together now. I'm going to add some of the liquid glue to the back of the foam and then pop that down on top of the circles. And then I'm going to use the same glue to adhere down the little love you sentiment. And I kind of think this is just a nice maybe Valentine's Day card or something like that but also not too in your face because it has the nice greys and blacks in the background as well. So I quite like a little bit of contrast like that. I also wanted to quickly mention if you guys end up making your own uh, versions of these, I would really love to see them. Our Facebook group is a great place where you can post uh, pictures and things of your cards. I would love to see what you guys have created. So I'll put a link to that down in the description box below as well. And then I almost forgot to adhere my <laughs> card to a card base, but I'm going to quickly pop it on now and it takes up the whole of the four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base that I'm adding it to. And then I'm simply going to use some little gems from Alina Crafts and I'm using a little wax pencil and some liquid glue dots to pop them down into place. That was my card for today you guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, thank you so much for joining me, I really really appreciate it and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video, thanks, bye!